the day we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Thursday, February 17, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Miami Heat vs Charlotte Hornets The Charlotte Hornets have been in a terrible slump as they've lost 8 of their past 9 games overall, and they will be hoping to snap a 2-game skid after coming up short against the Timberwolves in a 126-120 overtime road loss on Tuesday. Miles Bridges led the team with 28 points, 13 rebounds and 7 assists, Terry Rozier added 25 points with 5 assists, Lamelo Ball tallied 22 points with 9 rebounds and 6 assists, while Mason Plumlee chipped in with 14 points, 17 rebounds and 9 assists. As a team, the Hornets shot just 41% from the field and 8 of 33 from the three-point line as they squandered a 13-point lead in the fourth quarter before allowing the Timberwolves to open the overtime period on a 10-2 run to finish on the wrong side of the scoreboard. The Heat are in a much better place at this moment than the Hornets. Miami has a stronger perimeter defense with the likes of Butler, Lowry, and P.J. Tucker to get out on the various Hornets three-point shooters, most of whom are struggling with consistency from long range over the course of the last 10 games. The Heat should continue to cause the Hornets shooting percentage to dip as they have dropped to just 16th in the NBA due in large part to their recent struggles. Miami's defense at 6th in the NBA in defensive efficiency, so they will be able to dictate pace of play and tempo in this game. He Miami Heat have been in great shape as they've won 10 of their past 15 games overall, but they will be hoping to bounce back in this one after having their 5-game win streak halted by the Mavericks in a 107-99 home loss on Tuesday. Jimmy Butler led the team with 29 points and 10 rebounds, Bam Adebayo added 21 points with 12 rebounds and 2 blocks, while Kyle Lowry chipped in with 13 points. As a team, the Heat shot just 41% from the field and 7 of 27 from the three-point line as they got off to a solid start and looked to be in control after taking an eight-point lead into halftime, but they went ice cold from the perimeter in the second half, where they got outscored by 56-40. Gabe Vincent had a night to forget as he finished with just four points on one of nine shooting from the field and zero of seven shooting from the three-point line, while Duncan Robinson scored just five points on two of six shooting. Our first betting pick is Miami minus 4.5. Despite their recent struggles, the Hornets have seen the emergence of second-year guard LaMelo Ball this season. Ball became the second-youngest All-Star in NBA history, behind Kobe Bryant, when he was recently added to the All-Star team. On the season, Ball is leading the team in points, 20.2 per game, assists at 7.4 per game, and steals at 1.6 per game. Ball is also averaging a solid 7 rebounds per game. His development has meant increased output for some of the other Hornets players, most notably forward Miles Bridges. Bridges is averaging a career-high 19.9 points per game as he collects multiple easy buckets off of feeds from ball. The Hornets may have locked into a future dynamic duo with these two. Eric Spolster's bunch has stayed consistently atop of the Eastern Conference standings following a hot start to the season. The Heat have seamlessly adjusted to a new floor general in Kyle Lowry and watched the development of some of their younger players, including leading sixth man of the year candidate, Tyler Harrow. Miami's offense still runs through all-star Jimmy Butler, who is leading the team in points and steals in second and assists in minutes played. Olympian Bam Adebayo continues his steady climb as one of the best players in the NBA with a team leading 10.2 rebounds per game and scoring over 18 points per game for the 37-21 Heat. The Miami Heat, after a brief rough patch, look to be just where they want to be heading towards the All-Star break. Our second betting pick is over the total. Philadelphia 76ers vs Milwaukee Bucks. Confidence aside, Philadelphia has played well as of late, highlighted by a big win over Cleveland. Joe Lembiot has been dominant, leading the team in both scoring and rebounding in each of their last seven games. He put down 40 against both the Cavs and Bulls recently and seems to be stepping up when it counts the most. Overall Philadelphia's offense has been league average, ranking 16th in adjusted offensive efficiency per dunksandthrees.com. Their defense has held the line, ranking 11th in adjusted defensive efficiency and keeping them to a plus 1.4 net efficiency rating. Philadelphia will come out smoking in this one. 
they were simply embarrassed in their last game against Boston and Embiid will look to match the Greek freak shot for shot. He also has a big advantage at center with no Brook Lopez around to defend him. Milwaukee has also not played well lately as the injuries are starting to pile up. The losses of George Hill, Neck, Connaughton, and Allen are rough on the backcourt play and the depth. Philadelphia can take advantage considering the Bucks are down to players like Lindell Wigginton, who is now getting time off the bench. Milwaukee is looking to hold on to their lead over Philadelphia as well as gain ground towards the overall top seed in the East. The Bucks are just two games off the pace, and with games against both Miami and Chicago soon, to come on their schedule they are well within range of taking over the top spot. If they do grab the top seed, it will be because of Giannis Antetokounmpo's MVP caliber performance. The star forward responded to the Bucks' recent mini two-game losing streak by raining 50 points on the Pacers to right the ship. He leads the offense to their sixth-place ranking and adjusted offensive efficiency. Milwaukee's defense has been more middle of the pack, checking in 14th in adjusted defensive efficiency and allowing 109.6 ppg. The Bucks have played quite well at home, going 2010 at the Fisser Forum. Our first betting pick is Philadelphia plus 6.5. The Bucks are in third place in the Eastern Conference, just 2.0 games behind the Bulls for first place, and 1.5 games behind Miami for second place. Antetokounmpo leads the Bucks with 29.4 points and 11.3 rebounds, while Drew Holiday leads in assists with 6.7 per game. Milwaukee can really use 7-foot center Brook Lopez, back, for the stretch run. His size is sorely missed against players like Embiid. Overall, Milwaukee averages 113.1 points per game, 6th, on 46.1% shooting, 14th, and 36.2% three-point shooting, 5th. They allow 109.6 points per game on 44.7% shooting, 9th, and 34.4% three-point shooting, 12th. They also miss wing Pat Connaughton, finger, who is out with a finger injury until mid-March. Guard Grayson Allen, hip, is listed as doubtful tonight. That horrible loss snapped a two-game winning streak. The Sixers are in first place in the Atlantic Division and fifth place in the Eastern Conference, which places them at 3.0 games behind first place Chicago. The good news for Philadelphia is that all-star guard James Harden will finally play after the all-star break. He's missed several weeks due to a hamstring injury. Harden, who was averaging 22.5 points per game on 41.4% shooting with 10.2 assists per game, will infuse this team with much-needed scoring, and point guard played a team alongside Embiid, 29.3 ppg, 11.1 rpg. Philly's defense has been pretty good this season, allowing just 105.7 points per game on 45.1% shooting, 34% 3 pt. That might take a slight hit with Harden playing the point. They have also struggled rebounding the ball, minus 2.8, despite having Embiid on the floor. Our second betting pick is over 228. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory. 